Oh man. So I haven't played this in like, oh my god, it might have been more than a year. I literally, I booted up Street Fighter V when I was at a different place, installed it, played it like a couple of times, went, oh yeah! It's, it's not fun. <laughs> like, it is fun, but it's like, they, they've done a lot to make it not fun as well. This is also, it's actually also ironically the only game where I ever play Vega. Because I'm actually bad at charge characters and they kind of made him super, like, not a charge character now, so I can do some stuff. Where I felt like I tried him once in Ultra 4 and found that he was kind of charge-y. And I don't like doing charge, so... Oh, look at that breed freaking out. <laughs> so let's not be negative. Uh, good things about Street Fighter. I actually like the models, even if they are a bit like, why are their hands so big? That's always been a thing with Street Fighter character design. Kinda, I think. Not exactly like perfectly like proportioned to a human. Oh man, I remember when Laura was announced and I was like, oh man, Laura's gonna be so cool. She does jujitsu and she's like does like throw stuff. I'm so looking forward to her and like I don't mind her, she's pretty fun, but she's just I don't know, she's just not what I wanted. Oh that's why. <laughs> I used to play survival and she'd do that like every single time you won a round and it was like, oh, ding ding. <laughs> like she got a second V skill and it was pretty cool. Uh, like I don't know much about Vega. I played Vega when the game basically first came out and was like, oh yeah, you know, like at the very beginning of this, the game's release cycle, which was like quite a few years ago now. And I was like, oh, he's kind of cool, but this was before he had his second V skill or second super or any of that stuff, second V trigger, whatever. And uh, yeah. I neglected to like... You win. Why is Laura so thick? Why is her like... Normally those geese are really baggy. Why would she just like... I No, I'm gonna customize it so people can see. You know, like, like this G, this this gi needs to have assless chaps. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> oh, yeah, because it sells. <laughs> oh, so bad. Uh, my biggest problem with this game is actually really just the biggest gripe I have is like it's a fully paid for release and you're just shoving these really big forced extra load and wait times that are just like hey do you want to like hey hey do you want to like advertise here like here's an advertisement that's like for something that's either out of date because my computer's, my PS4's offline. <laughs> or like, do you want to drink Red Bull? Like, oh, seriously? <laughs> Advertising to me on my arcade mode run, it's kind of bullshit. And it makes everything go slower. And I, when you're playing a fighting game, you want it to be the loading is like, you want a rematch? Rematch. Not. You want a rematch? Okay, we're loading you out, we're bringing you back in, you can select your character and your supers again, and then here's another ad. That is just... Well, who is that for? People who, like, need to have a breathing space every, like, two-minute burst of gameplay? Like... Because it kind of... it ruins the pace and the flow. It really does, like... And I'll compare this to Tekken 7. And like, it's just, you want, you want the next match? The next battle? Bam. There you go, next one. Bam. Do you want a rematch? Bam. Load. Bam, you're back in. 
It's too slow. <laughs> And I can't really give much technical you thing win. here, but I will try over the next few because it's like fight the AI who barely fight back and then suddenly they really increase in difficulty and you're like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> but you'll see what I mean. It's just like... Oh, thought it crashed there. What are you doing, Cat? Cat is here to watch. <laughs> Be nosy. I'm fighting Alex now. Also, I'm a big Alex fan from uh, Third Strike, and I think a lot of people were very disappointed with this version of Alex. It, he's okay. He's it's like you know he's got everything. Yeah. I'm just gonna do this a bunch. You're just standing there. I'd say the AI for Street Fighter V is like, it feels like an afterthought as well. Like, it's not designed to be like fun to fight. It just like, oh, this character, we don't know how to do anything, so they will just stand there and walk back and forwards and occasionally hit light punch. And you're just like... <sighs> so when I said he's easier inputs, everything is obviously turned into fireball quarter circle motions, back and forth. Or like Shoryuken motions, I think. I can't remember already. And uh, as you can see here, it allows me to do the usual fly across the screen Vega stuff. And, you know, do the... Throw <laughs> that I keep doing here, and the AI is just letting me do it. And then I do stupid stuff like change to equip and unequip my claw, which changes one of the specials. But I don't know much in the way of combos for Vega because I haven't played him in forever, so I'm just hitting normals. And the AI is just letting me, and I'm just taking stupid hits because I'm not really blocking. Now we can see his crazy face. Win. <laughs> oh, the horrible loads. Adam flying from USA to USA. I guess that makes sense. Domestic flights. I'm pretty sure this Street Fighter Round League one. is like not Fight. in season three anymore. <laughs> So yeah, you see what I'm doing here is I unequip the uh, I unequip the claw. It's back on now. I missed. See what I'm doing here is fucking up. There we go. I guess that was a crush counter. I did nothing with it because yeah, didn't don't know how to do anything. So just hitting buttons. There we go. I hit him. He's walking forwards. He's not. He's just jumping around me. I just remember there's EX moves in this game. It's just... I don't know what to say. It doesn't feel fluid in, in the... You know, I said in between matches it slows the momentum down to everything, but it also feels like... Everything's just going very slowly. Like, I'm given so much time to make decisions that I'm literally processing things at, like, 30 seconds. You know what I mean? Where I'm like... 
I'm going to use an EX move, uses EX move, and it just feels like it doesn't really punish me enough for being really slow on my decision making. I'm just walking up to them and doing throws like that, which are like a command grab. Hey, no, I don't need that. No. Oh, I feel like I'm being a miserable asshole about it, but it's like, uh, like I really want to like the game. For all of my complaints about Street Fighter V, I really want to enjoy the game, but it needs to run faster on consoles. It's a holiday sale, guys. Round one. Fight. I missed. Low kick. And reminder, I am taking the higher difficulty enemy each time and the difficulty is set to normal, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is. Oh, that goes from air. I knew that. Oh, he crush countered me. It's just, like, it's just a bit slow. Who was it that I was I was listening to a podcast recently and I remember someone saying like every time or I was watching another video and like someone said every time a developer has said the phrase we're gonna make the inputs easier to a appeal to a more casual audience and we're gonna make the entire momentum slow down to like a crawl to uh, appeal to another audience it has caused like that fighting game to get massive losses. I think it was on a like video about what happened to uh, the popularity for Street Fighter 3 Next Generation when it came to like arcades and it's literally like the same problems Plague Street Fighter 3 as now Plague Street Fighter 5 which is you made it slow. It wasn't easy, but you made the pace much more slower and methodical and less visually like popping all the time, which is what you need to attract people in when they see it in an arcade or they see it on their friend's console go, whoa, what the fuck is that? That looks amazing. Look at all the shit happening. That's how fighting games get people's attention. And if you make it really slow and like they only have X amount of moves and you're hearing the same sound bites over and over and over and over and over again and everything is just really easy input. This, it, it loses a lot of its traction. He's, he's kind of like, Vega's kind of locked onto the dude and it's making it hard to hit the barrels, but I'm bad at the barrel game anyway. Oh, <laughs> the barrels are clipping through themselves to hit me. <laughs> Thanks, Duck King. Thanks. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Phasing through everything. Great, I hit free. The shame. I am not Barrel King. Oh well. Back to fighting peoples. But yeah, like, uh, it's just, it feels very, like, lacking fluidity, you know? Nothing feels like it's smoothly transitioning into one thing. It feels like you're hitting one button, and then it's hitting another button, and then it's, like, really, like, there's no... If, I don't know how to explain it. Maybe it's just because I don't know the combos for this. Like, But like, if it's like really going into this highly linear, you just learn these five combos and that's it, kind of like flowcharting dialer combo shit, then that would be unfun as well, so... You can do stuff. I knew you can do stuff because I uh, used to play Nash and you can kind of just do like, you know, some stuff and I've seen some stuff with Akuma, but like I really lost track of this game. <laughs> but 
this is what I end up playing like in Street Fighter V. I just end up playing like, uh, I don't know what to do. Special. Uh, I don't know what to do. Walk back. Special. Uh, I just do this move again and I'm not doing anything at any high speed. I'm just like, uh, you know, low kick. Just feels really like... I could have done better with the AI here. And yeah, I could play online if I had an internet connection, but I don't know, so. <laughs> it's basically most of it's self-inflicted I don't have a good Wi-Fi connection and like gold membership and whatever I need to play online on my PS4 I also live in a country where I'm probably not supposed to be gaming online because everything is censored and banned so uh, you know It's probably the people who are online are probably like absolute killers if they're uh, able to get this running on an online scene over here. And I miss being in Hong Kong. That was the sickest. I used to play uh, Street Fighter 4 uh, in the arcades with people. That used to be rad. Do a level five Yurian. Maybe he will move more than zero. <laughs> uh, I, I maybe if I just spend hours in this game, but it's not really pulling me in, and that's the problem. And I'm kind of just sat here, like you know, like I will just sit and play Tekken Seven, and I will just sit and like mess around in Guilty Gear uh, in Rift Two. Or I will just sit and just play Third Strike or Alpha and I will just sit there and just have fun doing that. And with um, Marvel v Capcom, even though I'm really bad, and I will just sit and keep playing and playing. And it's like same with Devil May Cry, I will just keep playing until like I at least understand the inputs for everything and like do it. But this just, it just doesn't really excite me because nothing I'm seeing makes me go, whoa that's so cool, I want to do that again. <coughs> Nothing is judgment cut end. I think that's the problem, right? Am I doing some sick shit? No. Although, to be fair, actually, to stop dumping on this game so much and being horrible and, you know, being like... Because there, there's a load of good points. Uh, I think Akuma's Raging Demon in this game is actually super sick. And I love doing that. I missed. Jamist. And to be fair, you can tell I haven't played Vega in fucking forever. Next time I'll lab some Vega and actually like learn everything. Actually after recording this video, I'm gonna go and do that and just actually like uh, mess around and see if there's stuff and mess around with a bunch of characters. <clears throat> Cause uh, yeah, I feel like I'm not, you know, I'm sitting here going, this is lame. Oh, this is so lame, and it's like, yeah, it's because I'm bad. But like, you know, and I'm sure like if people even bother watching this, they'll be like, oh, it's because you're shit at the game, I'm really good, and it's really great the way it's like super flowcharty and like repetitive. You you just complaining because my rank's higher, it's like, yeah, okay, whatever, yeah, but like, it's just not got the pace. But now I got punched. I got snowmanned. Now I will fight you again. Oh. And then I feel super like locked in because it's the rest of the game's AI just puts me into this really lolly kind of like, oh, I don't have to do anything. I just can stand around and it's not gonna like there's no pressure. And then like something fights me actually, and I'm like, oh shit, it's actually fighting back. <laughs> oh no, I have to do the thing. Maybe if I put ramp up the difficulty and I can't fall asleep then maybe I'll actually uh, find something or maybe I'll just be frustrated because you know I just I mean that was cool look I did the thing but you know like when if I'm having to point at something go yeah that was all right <laughs> like he's not really like selling it to me uh, to be honest it has been years 
is. That yeah, was always more of a Tekken fan anyway, so that makes me biased, but whatever. I win. win. Haha, <laughs> he's ugly. I mocked him. Oh. Oh, well, yeah, I forgot these happen. Where they just kind of go, ah, look, here's a new challenger. And it's actually just like a kind of thing. Is it a rival or is it just some dude? We will find out when the game loads. Ah, yes, when I think of Street Fighter V, I think of a hideous green fading to white gradient background that I pulled off of Microsoft Word. That's what I think about. <laughs> Jesus, you couldn't spend more than five seconds on a background? Like, come on, man. Oh, jeez. Could have taken any splash art. You could have taken any of the art assets that you must have. This Why? Because it is my oh, it's the meme character that I didn't care for. <laughs> and I'm normally all about memes, but I was like, oh, I get it. He's like... Meme Lincoln with lasers. It's funny because epic rap battles of history or something. <laughs> and I was just like, I've never played against or as this person though. That's how out of it I've been. Like, he's been out for ages, and I was like, oh, cool. Another reason for me to not bother picking up the game again. Then I saw Sagat and was like, cool, picked up and played Sagat for like a second in like trials and did his story and then was like, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Street Fighter V, I should give you more of a chance, but I'm just... I won. Oh, I need to win again. You're just jumping. He's just jumping and walking. Oh, he's punching. Oh, okay. Oh, he's actually doing things now. Oh, that was way too early. Put myself up there. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just kind of standing in place and I, I don't know what buttons to press because you can tell I'm super inexperienced, so... Everyone's putting me in the same snowman. tell I'm just kind of like confused and panicking because I'm just like uh uh how to do thing just I don't feel very hype even now I'm just kind of like oh He's jumping and he punches me twice and then he backs off and then he jumps in and punches me twice and then he backs off and yeah, I, that's enough of a tactic for my dumbass. <laughs> He's got glowy hands. Oh shit. He punched me in the dick. It's Vega's weak point. Probably would be. <laughs> oh my god. He's pointing to me. The player. Okay, I guess I'll fight you again, sir. I'm not logged in. I'm not logged in. It, uh, it does that every time you, like, come out of arcade mode and your score is supposed to be submitted, it'll go, Oh my god, you're not on the internet! Did you know? Did you know you're not on the internet? Holy shit, how are you alive? Are you in some cabin? Do you need help? And you're like, yeah, I know. Oh, wait, this isn't... I can't fight him again? I would have had to use my brain. 
fine. We'll fight Poison Man. I remember when Fung was announced when because he was with like the launch, wasn't he? And uh, everyone was like, "Who the fuck is this?" <laughs> and like everyone was like, "Oh, he might be really cool." And some people were hype, and then he was like, "Oh, it's kind of nothing." What a shame. And then he kind of got like snubbed quite a lot in the uh, story mode, and like was jobbed out a lot. And then everyone was like, "Oh." Nice idea, but sadly he's just kind of there. He's actually got some cool shit, but like it, when I tried him, I was just like, um, I don't care about this character. How did that not? Oh, he ducked. being poisoned. Not again. It's like being in Taco Bell again, am I right? Please laugh. My beauty is unshakable. Round two. Hey guys, did you know Vega's a throw character now? I've made him a throw character by just, you know, using his moves. <laughs> and then I stabbed him. Ow. Oh. Ow. Oh. Well, this is going poorly. It's <laughs> not really much to say, I'm sorry. Other than Fong is like a human poison Pokemon. You win. He's got the poison touch. Like that ability, you know, like the Pokemon. I will send you to your grave. I don't think Vega likes him. Let's fight Sagat. Maybe he prefers Sagat because that's his old partner, you know? <laughs> oh god. <clears throat> eh. Maybe I'm being harsh on the game. I, I'm actually now thinking, like, watching this back, I'm now thinking, oh, I, I'm just gonna go in a minute and just play a fuck ton of this game in various characters and just, like, see a load of shit that I honestly cannot remember any... any... of, like, stuff. <laughs> like, you know, supers, second supers, like, how Sagat plays in this game, like... Kage, like anything, and I'm just gonna go back and just like do a load of stuff and like try a load of characters that I've literally never touched in my life because I just looked at a load of new characters and was like, oh my god, why are they all blonde? <laughs> and that was like my entire thing, and it was just like, oh look, another blonde guy, another blonde girl, another thick girl. <laughs> ah, I see. This must sell or something. I don't understand. But like, then I see characters that have like crazy Ken flaming kicks, but are like a little different. Oh, Sagal, why? You know, and I'm like, oh, okay, like, uh, maybe I should check that character out. Like, she seems cool. I still kind of don't forgive this game though for what they did to Jury because they fucked that move set up and I am so pissed. It's like someone described what Jury's thing is to someone down a telephone line and English was not their first language and they were described it in English and the phone line was crackly. That's what they did to Jury. Like, you know, she kicks and. Yeah, yeah, yeah like. Dive kick. The curly. She does the flip kick and purple. And they were like, oh, okay. And here's a picture of her. They were like, oh, yeah, I think we get it. Taekwondo. <laughs> he never likes Cigar. <gasps> Vega, you mean person. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to see a thing now. We're going to see a thing. Where you go, hey, 
How come suddenly when it's to the boss they actually like just just keep in mind he's level five. He's the final boss. Sagat was level five, I think. You can just wind this back. I fought level five AIs just a second ago. G was level six and I nearly beat him. Kind of. Just keep that in mind for this. Yep. <laughs> yep. Well, I hit him. Look, I did some things. I hit him twice in a row. That's that's called a combo in this game. <laughs> oh, he anti aired me, and then he did a load of purple stuff. Oh, man. And then he just puts me in the corner and keeps doing his flippy shit. I forgot he has like a different thing in this game where he doesn't use like a Psycho Crusher anymore, he does like an orb. <laughs> that smile. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay. Someone's mad. Fuck. Well, I think I'm not supposed to let him get me in the corner. <laughs> That's kind of creepy, suggesting that Vega can't escape from Bison's bullshit. Hey guys, I'm not on the internet. <gasps> How can we advertise to you if you're not on the internet? Better just put this horribly long loading screen here that's not awkward, and I'm definitely not filling for time. I'll show you the epitome of beauty. The thing about Vega is his whole thing is that he's pretty, but like what will happen when he gets old and like everyone else is aging, right? Like everyone else is aging. Sagat, like Akuma, M. Bison's got grey hair, like, and he must be like probably a little younger than them, but you're thinking like, what is he going to do when he gets old and grey and shitty? Like his entire philosophy, he's going to hate himself, you know? What if he gets male pat in the hair, bowl, hair loss? He's gonna be so upset. Maybe he'll get a wig. Okay, this, this is apparently real now. As in, it's kicking my ass and I'm bad at the video game. Yay! Battle the video game! Yay! Oh. Thanks. <laughs> Just going straight for the cankles. Okay. Let me let me try that again. Ah, I hit you. Look, I did the thing that I always rely on and I'm bad at. Oh. Balls. See, like, I think he just likes corners. And I land in a corner and then I get murdered. Big murder. Lose on normal. The nightmare won't end. The nightmare of like forced advertising and sign ins will not end. <laughs> oh. <coughs> this this might be the worst it's ever been. <laughs> oh, ha, ha. Ish fine. I have so many excuses. I have 45 minutes of excuses and that's this video. Man, I, 
I, I might actually just go back and workshop this game for like another like three or four hours now. I might just get a beer and just do that. <laughs> I might just do that for a little while, you know, just sit in trials mode, go through everything for a couple of characters, fail miserably, give up, and then never play again. <laughs> That's normally how I play Street Fighter V, by the way, is like, oh man, I'm going to boot up the trials. I do like a bunch of the trials. I kind of get stuck on one or two of the trials and skip them, then come back and try again. And then I don't pick up the game for like another six months. And I go, cool, later, oh, I'll play this game again and then just do it all over again. That's, that's, that's my experience. It's probably the least played Street Fighter game, like, except for Street Fighter, like, 1. For me, like, I used to play a fuck ton of 4, and, like, I love Third Strike, even though I'm bad at that game, and Alpha. And I don't mind 2, I just play it a lot because everyone plays 2, right? All my mates who used to play with me would go, oh yeah, let's play 2, and I'm like, oh, okay. The one I played the least, and surprisingly don't care as much for. You see, I found the trick. The trick is to just keep doing this and like mixing it up and just screwing with him and he doesn't know what the fuck I'm doing because he can't get in my mind if my head empty. <laughs> How do I react to this person who's just hitting buttons? You'll never know what I'm doing if I don't. See, it worked. Just being completely random. LOL's random. As Vega is known to say. <laughs> what a great ending. And we are rewarded! I don't know who that guy is. I need to look up who this guy is. There's a guy with... He looks familiar. It's such a cameo that I feel bad for missing. Thank you for playing. Yeah.